you. About to do your Libra Scorpio cusp read. So come on in, sit down and relax. Let's get on with it, okay? Give you a shout out for clicking this video. I appreciate that. I also want to give a shout out to my members and my subscribers. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your, surpri your surprises. <laughs> yeah, your super, super thanks. All that, your donations. You guys are just amazing. I love it. All right. So, quick shuffle there. This one, and then we'll get into your reading. All right. Hope you're doing good. Enjoying yourself on this Friday, right? Good, good, good. All right, so we're gonna pull two cards. We'll get to it. Yeah, all right. Here's your first two cards. Page of Pentacles. Okay. I can dig it. I can dig it. Let's get the second card out. Let's see what that's going to be. Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Hmm. Well, isn't this exciting? Somebody wants to give you something. And it's going to make you very excited. Yes. Three of Cups. Excitement. Page of Pentacles. It's an offer. It's pretty warm up today. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's the present energy now. Let's get into story mode, okay? Let's find out what's going on with this here. What are you, what's the offer on the table for you? Let's see. Um, well. Hmm. This is conflict. It's conflict. It's competition. Okay, so this might come with competition. Let's offer. Who knows? We'll see. Because there are three people in this cup. Well, yeah, three cups, right? Three people dancing in the cup. In their cups. It's in their emotions, right? So then, ooh, you're walking away quickly. <laughs> okay, so whatever's being offered to you, um, you were going to be excited about it until you found out, because it's also going to be a message that you found out that there's going to be some pretty, uh, not stiff competition, but there's a bunch of competition that you're just walking away from. You're, you don't want anything to do with that kind of crap. All right, that's your energy. Slide this down a tiny bit. All right, here comes your next card. Two wands in the minute of your mind. There's no looking back. <laughs> For surely this is your energy. All right. Two of Wands. Yeah, I definitely would make up my mind to you if there was just too much competition. I'll just walk away, right? Definitely disappointed with the offer. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you're like, I don't like this idea with the Four of Cups. Definitely not happy with that. So, you're like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. Totally done. Yeah, you're not accepting that. So, that... That excitement, the three of cups could be a third party situation, could be the competition, right? Fit how it shifts for you, my friend. Right? Let's keep going. Seven wands, yeah. You're taking the higher road. For sure, you're taking the higher road. You're not having this competition crap. You're not about it. Why would you be, right? I uh, hear you. <laughs> <clears throat> now because it is a page of pentacles it could be definitely about finances so this could have been a job offer that you were like hell no <laughs> you know what i mean and that's all you're going to give me is some chunk change and that's all you've been giving me is chunk change all right yeah well now page of swords You're going to take the high road and go do some research, gather some information somewhere else, right? You're definitely, uh, I just get this feeling of moving on. You're getting nickel and dimed here. Okay. 
cycle is going to change for you the world card major arcana so this is going to be a dramatic decision that you're going to make because that world card is underneath the uh, two of wands okay. all right so it's pretty good so far all right so let's keep on moving all right the world card right temperance yeah so this <clears throat> This, this change, this cycle that you're going to be going through, it's definitely going to put you in a harmonious, balanced spot, balanced place, okay? Because this is definitely unbalanced okay? before the cycle changes, okay? Nine of Wands, yeah. So you're just going to leave it in the past and keep on going because you have this temperance and you have this kind of balance. You're definitely not about that. And look at all these wands lined up. <laughs> Right. <clears throat> yeah, so you're just moving on forward. Wounded warrior, progressing still. Kind of go over some of the life lessons, some of these things that you've had to make a choice for. Maybe you should have been like, I don't know, contemplating, should I stick or stick it out? I don't know, should I just fail? That's kind of what that two of wands is. It's almost like the two of pentacles with the juggling, right? But you clearly are not having any part of it. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. You want to even give and take. Right? You want to even give and take, okay? Six of Pentacles. This is what you're seeking. This is the balance. This is the harmony with that Temperance card. It fits all very well, doesn't it? It sure does. Alright, there it is. Peace. Okay, this is structure, this is stability, this is peace, this is laying it to rest, okay? So part of your peace, or attaining this peace through the, you know, the balance and the harmony that you're going to achieve by changing this cycle is that when you finally get to the point of continuing forward this wounded warrior kind of mentality, um, in the search for the give and take the even give and take you're definitely coming into this stability part with your mind and you're you're definitely clear on what you want okay because that's all lined up underneath the two wants in the in the world card right. so you're finding peace with this change okay not the chunk change that you're getting but this new change that's going to give you a better balance and give you what you deserve this even even give and take right nine cups wish fulfillment so it's coming right there is something coming for you that is a wish fulfillment and that wish fulfillment is giving you your pentacles your money your even balance your give and take right you're going to get those scales weighed out evenly now because over here clearly a lopsided Well, let's pull this. Let's pull a verdict because that's not a bad card to end it off with the uh, the nine of cups. I'd say that's a pretty good wish fulfillment. You are. Let's keep diving. Okay, so here's the magician card. You're about to manifest something pretty significant. Okay, let's find out. Because you have all the tools you need to, to manifest this, this even give or take, right? You surely do. <clears throat> it's like you found your center because you're you're trying to, you know, wait for your wish fulfillment. So you're definitely manifesting something that's going to change and transform something. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull a couple more cards because we got the magician and the death card, so something's gonna happen. I don't know yet. Let's pull another card and find out. <laughs> Ace of Swords. <clears throat> well, the truth is, you you are the magician. You can manifest things almost just by meditating, right? For surely, by meditating, you can access almost astro travel into you know making decisions that you want further on down the road okay star card wow 
So the truth is something is written. So now we're talking about destiny here. You're tapping into your destiny, maybe even through the astro or meditation, like I said, right? This is crazy. And that's all the truth right there. Oh, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So you're about to embark on something that you are definitely going to plant seeds and wait for that harvest with this Seven of Pentacles and investment, right? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. You like this one, huh? All right. There it is. Forward movement, Cherry. Divine Uber, get in. So this is divinely driven now. <laughs> I told you this is like tapping in your fate. What? Uh, high Priestess. So we're talking now like spiritual gifts and things like that. So something that you're going to invest in that has to do with your intuition. Maybe your connection to the divine as well. Okay, because it is written for you to manifest something like this. Huge, this is huge, this is like huge. Chariot, star card, death card, magician, high priestess, five majors right there at your ending. What? That's no going to the face up. All right, let's just pull one more for giggles. So it's love. Spread love, my friends. So you have this higher sense of your spirituality that is unconditional. That's just some a lot of love to give, okay? So who doesn't want to invest in love, okay? So maybe that's some kind of like career path that you might want to think about. Like, I mean, to be loving in a career would be you know, I think in the humanitarian field, like counseling or teacher or, you know, things like that, you're really dedicated uh, with your with your heart, okay? And so, yeah. <laughs> That's been your reading, my friends. Appreciate your time. Enjoy that one. Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of this divine family. And when you go out in the world, tell all your friends about my channel. Check out my new crystal. This thing is crazy sparkly dope, right? Look at that thing. It's like snowflakes. <laughs> Bling bling, bling bling, right? That's nice. And then I got this one over here that has like the crystals growing inside it. Yeah, I'll see that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, right? Get yourself some crystals, they really work well. Okay, so peace, pray, my friends. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.